Our fourth and final case in this little short series here is a patient who actually previously had corneal cross-linking two years before having CARES, and we can actually see some of that haze on densitometry throughout the central cornea. And the haze was not visually significant. Patient really noticed it, but if, in case you're wondering that like, this was just a residual uh, haze. This is a patient who had very large pupils, and as I mentioned before, and was complaining of uh, very high order aberrations inferiorly when driving at night, which made him uncomfortable to function. Even with scleral lenses, this wasn't much improved, and he was wondering if there was any way to improve his vision with less reliance on contact lenses. We can actually see in his case the preoperative report, the preparation for what that femtosecond channel is going to look like. So here's the inner diameter 4, inner depth uh, 250, outer diameter 750, again 250 depth, and then the position is the center of the cone, the angle is 180 degrees. The lower width, I make a slightly pyramidal incision uh, with the upper a little bit narrower than inferior so that the channel closes easily, uh, but that it's still easy to insert the tissue. This overall, as you can see, the suction time, this was actually the post-op already, was 23 seconds. So this is not a long procedure at all. And we can continue his surgery and see much of what we've seen already, where that dull instrument is passing through the femtosecond channel, trying to open up that tissue preparatory to receiving the actual tissue. Now, this patient had corneal cross-linking previously, so what we're noticing is maybe a little more resistance for this tissue passing in. It does get in, but it seems, looks to me like you need a little bit more effort to get that tissue in this particular patient. Absolutely. If you compare this to the previous patient that I mentioned, had a slightly more narrow uh, segment that went in fairly easily with care natural, which again is a little bulkier segment. Segment, this was more work to get in. Again, no real problems, just a little bit more difficult to insert. And another reminder that this is the inferior cornea where this tissue is being placed, but we're seeing the surgical view, so it looks superior to us, but that is the inferior cornea where that's being placed. And my surgical immune, uh, view, I mean, at this, as a surgeon, I sit at the top of the head, so looking through the microscope, uh, this would be towards the patient's feet, and this would be towards their uh, the front or their hair. And finally, getting that tissue perfectly placed. And this is our last little view of that patient postoperatively on the densitometry. You can see exactly where the CARES tissue is placed. This is out of the visual axis, so we're not concerned about that loss of transparency in the inferior cornea. They still have very good central vision through a very clear central cornea. And again, compared to your previous question, does this patient notice a little bit of a fog in the inferior part of the vision? Yes, but it's preferable to the ghosting and double vision that you had before. You mentioned these are reversible that could be removed. Yes. Uh, any indications and when that might be necessary? This patient, not enough of a problem where they're, they're fine still, but when would that be necessary? If their vision is affected, they have some negative response to the tissue or there's another untoward event. Again, this is very early. Cornea follow-ups tend to take over a year to see a real problem, sometimes even longer, as we've noticed with intacts, can take years until you see negative side effects. So this is still early, but for now it looks very promising. So to summarize, CARES is really a very exciting, fairly new surgical treatment for the management of keratoconus. Very mm -hmm. excited about it. Both CARES and care natural, and again, just to review, there will be uh, different terms used, as you've already heard in this video. There's CARES, there's care natural, there's CTAC. They all have a similar approach to the underlying idea, meaning supporting the tissue with an implantable ring segment, but the exact execution of where, what width, what kind of tissue is placed varies from one to the other. Most of the videos that you've seen today uh, were care natural. There was one with a care natural approach, but using a care segment as developed by Dr. Jacobs. And we'll link to a article that we wrote on our first case on this as well.